Hello everyone and welcome to my latest Photoshop tutorial and today's Photoshop tutorial is about creating vector art in Photoshop. Now usually vector art is associated with Adobe Illustrator and if you've got Adobe Illustrator that's the, the, the program and the software that you want to be using to create vector art. But if you're like me you're not fortunate enough to have Adobe Illustrator, uh, okay you can still create that artwork in Photoshop. Now why do I say it's better to make that work in Illustrator? Well, Illustrator works off uh, vector images, mathematical uh, formulas to create smooth lines. So if you to make some vector art in Illustrator, okay, you can make it whatever size you want, as tall as a building, okay, and it still look nice and crisp and straight lines. Whereas Photoshop is pixel based art and rasterized and if you were to expand it uh, and print it out quite large, okay, it wouldn't uh, just become pixelated and it, it wouldn't look very nice. However, you can still use it um, to have a play around with and learn about vector art. And if you like it, go and purchase Illustrator. Uh, and today I'm just going to do a little tutorial on how I created this uh, Jurgen Klopp piece, keeping it nice and simple. Okay, you can go into a lot more detail, and I've got a few here. So I made a Allison one not too long ago, uh, a couple of years ago as a match day image. I uh, got a little bit uh, creative putting some gradients in and some shadows. Uh, I've also done one with another match day image, of Philip Coutinho and John Flanagan for Manchester City. Again, kept it simple. Um, nothing uh, nothing too fancy. I think it's uh, it's quite nice artwork. And I've also did, I'm quite proud of a Michael Schumacher one, vector artwork, did his helmet, the car, added some shadows in, did the wheels, um, and just had a little bit of a play around, did some uh, did some highlights and whatnot, and threw in a little background and a shadow as well. So you can get cre quite creative. And when I say get quite creative, okay, the best one that I have found, or that I know of, is a Instagram page called Entire Design. Uh, now this guy is just incredible. Like the level of detail that he goes to in his vector art is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's well worth going checking out. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, go and look at his artwork and you'll see the detail. Add in shadows, add in highlights, add in logos and whatnot. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, go check out uh, him. You'll see, get, get inspired. Uh, but today I'm just keeping it nice and simple uh, because it's not my uh, forte. So I'm not all over this at all. It's just having a little bit of a play around. So Without further ado, I've waffled on enough. Let's get started. So, um, like with this one, I'm not going to have a background. I'm just going to have a simple uh, image of someone. So I'm going to have uh, Jurgen Klopp. Um, when I posted this on my Instagram, I did see someone say they were going to do a Gareth Bale one with his overhead kick. So, Chris uh, Madrid playing white kit. Or was when Bale scored that goal. Okay, maybe I have a different colour background. And add some detail in, add some uh, Adidas, add, add the lines, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, just get really creative and just keep adding detail. And you'll slowly develop a style. So, like I said, I've waffled on enough. I'm going to start again, start this tutorial. So, I'm going to press Command N because I'm working on a Mac. I'm going to do 1080 by 1080 uh, pixels, resolution 144 pixels per inch, RGB color 8 bit. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to bring in my image. Of Jurgen Klopp, so I've sourced just from uh, Google Images. And one thing I would say is on Adobe Illustrator, it's such a powerful, um, such a powerful program. There are ways to just turn your images straight into vectors. Um, I didn't really get the hang of it when I when I had Illustrator. I had CS6. Um, yeah, a digress. There are lots of ways to play around with vectors. So I'm just going to resize my image, and I'm going to go for something like that. I'm going to click OK. Now, it's not the best image, but it's something that we can work with. It's Jurgen Klopp celebrating. Um, yeah, fantastic. So, first thing I'm going to do is then, I'm going to create a new layer. So, I'm going to click that little icon down there. I'm going to hit P for my pen tool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the hat. So, I'm going to select a color. In fact, I'm going to hit I for my eyedropper tool. And I'm going to select this like, bluey dark color. And, yeah, I'll go with that. I'll keep that colour. So select whatever colour that you so desire. Okay, go back to P for your pen tool. Now make sure you've got shape selected, okay, and you don't want any stroke 
uh, we're just going to go straight for a shape and all I'm going to do is just pin round his baseball cap like so so if you're not too familiar with a pen tool and you want to do vector art okay I would really suggest that you go out there and learn the pen tool it's a uh, fantastic resource uh, okay so we've done his hat and I'll take that away and you can see we've got his hat now I'm going to do the same thing for the jacket what I'm going to do for the jacket I'm going to hit I in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go my top layer I'm going to name it so I like to name them as well before um, before I move on so I'm going to have a layer underneath the hat so I'm going to hold command down on my keyboard and select the new layer icon so it'll drop a layer below I've got my eyedropper tool already selected and it's got this bluey color we'll go for something a bit darker I want it to contrast the cap slightly and you can see from that dark blue to the black I think it will do so hit my pen tool again and I'm going to go around and create a shape so I'm going to start here and I'm just going to go around the contours of his ears now when you're doing this okay it's all about being um, creative keeping it simple okay if you're starting to struggle just start again it is um, it is a hard skill to master. It's not something I uh, did really well with when I had Illustrator. I used to um, make like flat landscapes and I've got a few early tutorials on that as well. So I'm not too worried about the creases in his arms. Uh, I'm just doing a rough, a rough outline. Okay, I've closed my path there. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, if command zero, I'll come out of there. And if I hide the image, okay, you can see that we've, uh, we're starting to build up our image of Klopp. Okay, what I'm going to do now is because I want that little gap in, because I'm using a white background, okay, I'm going to select a white color. Uh, in fact, I'll call this jacket as well while I'm here. Okay, I'm going to create a layer above it. And this is going to be a gap. So what I'm going to do is with the jacket, I'm just going to reduce the opacity down just about 70% just so I can see through it. Make sure I've got my uh, new layer selected. Hit P for my pen tool, and I want a white color, so I'm gonna press D on my keyboard, and then press X, so it resets my palette. And I'm just gonna draw a line. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a little gap in there, just so we get a sense of that arm. It's extending round. Yeah, we'll go for something like that. Okay, I'm going to cut all that gap. Okay, on the same layer, okay, you can do it on different layers. I'm just going to do the hand as well. Now, you can do all of this on the same layer if you so wish, but um, I find it easier to do it on different hands. So I'm just keeping it really simple. So I've come out of there, go for the jacket, flood the opacity. Get rid of the clop, and you can see what we've uh, what we've achieved so far. And if you look at this image, okay, his hands are very basic. Um, I found hands most difficult anyway, so we're, I'm just going to keep it basic like that. And as you can see on this image, the hat and the jacket are contrasting, which uh, is exactly what I want. So I bring my layer of clop back. Okay, I'm going to go for the trousers now, so you can quite clearly see they're a different colour. But I'm just going to make them a little bit darker. So they're contrasting, and I want them underneath the jacket, so I'm going to hold Command down again and select a new layer. Hit P for my pen tool, and it is so simple and basic. I think the talent lies in seeing the different shadows. Um, I've not done the fill correctly, so I'll come back. Fill, select the latest colour. P for my pencil again, sorry. Uh, like I was saying, it's, it's very basic, but I think the talent lies in identifying the different shadows um, and the work and dedication required. So around his calves, 
So we're just doing his trousers at this point. So you can see how quickly I'm doing this. Um, if you take your time, if you spend a good couple of hours on something like this, the amount of detail that you could ha add um, is phenomenal. And what you can do in this program is crazy as well. Right. Beyond, it's just crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to close this path. Hit enter. I'm going to rename that trousers. And I'm going to do for the same for trainers. Um, I will have them underneath as well. So or sneakers if you're American, and I'll command a new layer. Okay, select a color. P. It's already filled it up there for me. And I'm just going to start somewhere around there. Now I know from doing the last one, doing this bit here made it look a bit strange. So I'm just going to come around. I'm guesstimating this is not the best image to have chosen. I'm going to close it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a curve in. Just to add a bit of white, something like that. And then I'll zoom in. So I'll do the trainers on the same layer. In fact, no, I won't because I messed it up. So that would have been his right trainer. And then new layer, doesn't matter if it's top or bottom. This one will be the left trainer. Uh, yeah, the trainers look okay, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, now I'll do his beard, so I'm going to go and underneath his hat. Okay, command and new layer. Okay, let's get Eugen Klopp's beard up. And I use this colour over here, this grey. So you can sample it, but I use this colour here, this 858481. And I'm just going to, because it's underneath the hat, it's uh, it's hidden. So you can keep it simple. Onto his beard, moustache. Okay, I'm going to trace around his face at this point as well. Okay, I'll call that beard. And I want a little bit of a shape for a mouth. And I want a, a white colour like what we used before. Let's zoom out and look at that. Yeah, that's looking all right. It's looking okay. It's not perfect, but I'm just going through it for the tutorial. And I'll have a dark gray as well. I think I use that color as well. That's still there in my palette for his glasses. So call that mouth. Okay, you do acquire quite a lot of layers. You can start grouping them. Um, but for something simple like this, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to come to about there. So it's not going to be perfect. Come back around. Close it off. Okay, and I want a lens, so I'll call that glasses. And then just let that white up there. It won't matter. So if you can see here, if I zoom in, obviously the pixels. See how it's pixelating there? Okay, and just around the image. If you were to use Adobe Illustrator, uh, you wouldn't have that problem. It'd be nice and smooth. So command zero, and why is his mouth got a different color? Mouth, fill, back to white. Yeah, command zero, and then Enter. There we go. I messed up his glasses. Okay, so you see here. Yeah. See here, I've done a better job. Ish. And then you can uh, draw around a hand around. So we'll go for his jacket. And then a new layer underneath. We'll go for the colour of his beard. 
and in fact what well, don't want a shape so we'll click that little line there we want a stroke and we'll go for that latest color there and we'll have the stroke size start at seven in fact let me bring this back okay obviously it's too thick close that off Something along those lines, okay, I'm not very good uh, with the hands. And then what I can do is I'm just going to select all the layers that we've used. Command T, I'm just going to centralize them as well. There we go. And that is how you uh, do vector art in Photoshop. Uh, like I said before, you can get creative. So you can now, so what, what you could do is... If you've uh, if you've got your image underneath, so I'll just select that. So before you move them, so line it back up. Okay, what you could do now is you could select your jacket layer, say, reduce the opacity, and then you could just go around every single shadow. Or if you just want to keep it simple, just do the New Balance logos, uh, the Liverpool logos of whatever team you're doing. Make sure you bring your opacity back up. Um, like for the right trainer, if I drop that opacity down, okay, we'll, uh, we'll just do it now, we'll add in a N for the new balance, and there you go, then we start to add the detail, okay, so if you're using football shirts, so like I said with Madrid, the black Adidas lines uh, on the sleeves or whatever, um, Newcastle, uh, okay, you could, you'll do the black and white lines, um, like Sunderland, the red and white, Celtic, green and white, etc., the hoops. Um, it's just basically doing all that. So I hope I've got you started into uh, vector art, and if you like it, I hope it's something uh, that you continue to do um, until you just get better and better. What I would say is it comes uh, with practice. It may be frustrating at, at the start. I did notice when I was doing uh, a lot of vector art, it, I did get better. Uh, and I've seen people on social media start doing vector art, and in a couple of months I've seen them go from basic things like this to absolute phenomenal uh, vector artwork. So you never know in the future, you might decide to get rid of Photoshop and just uh, do Adobe Illustrator uh, and become an illustrator. But yeah, they're the basics. I've waffled on enough. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I've taught you something. I hope you've learned something. Um, so yeah, one thing I forgot to add as well is so... Um, you can add shadows as well. Um, don't forget that. Uh, add grass. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, another example as well, just quickly. So, uh, what's his name? Carl. There we go. Carl Fire, I believe he's saying his names correctly. He's another good artist. Um, he does uh, like these flat images of players. Um, and he prints them out on merchandise and stuff. Uh, again, a really talented artist. Um, loads of different players there. Loads of different stuff. Again, I'll link his uh, artwork in uh, the description below. Look, you can see there. So, good example. How it started versus how it's going. So, absolutely incredible. Even pro start somewhere. So, yeah. Hope I've inspired you. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, hit that like. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe if you like my content. Go check it out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a tutorial very soon.